Hey, what's up? This is Steve Viegas. You can catch me right now on JR and the Crew. Be sure to check it out and just relax, take a drink, and just kick it. Enjoy it. Talk to us, man. What's up? I ain't here to talk to you. So you can go ahead and bounce now. Someone with your record, Sport? Until I know the nature of your business, you get two cops for the price of one. Uh, Commander, this shouldn't take long, just a few minutes, okay? Well, if that's the way you want to look, huh? Sure. All right, man, so talk to me. What's going on? That shooting at the liquor store at Gardena Boulevard? Yeah. About the missing girl. I got something you're going to want to hear. What makes you think there's a girl missing? Come on, man. That's how you want to play this? I got a friend in the car willing to talk. All right, then bring him in. Only way she's talking is outside. And why is that? Look, what aren't you telling me? This friend is like family to me. She needs help, and I'm out of options. Nicolas, is that just still open? Yeah, right? bro. What do you mean it's still open? I got my name on the wall over there. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jared the Crew, man. We are here, man, once again. It's Wednesday night. And uh, we got everybody in the house tonight. <laughs> like, almost everybody in the house tonight. But uh, Momo, she's sick right now, man. And uh, oh, man, I feel bad for her, man. She's a little under the weather. But we got Slick Vic in the house, of course, man. We got Slick Vic in the house. And then, of course, we got our man. This is He's, he's becoming a regular now. Yeah, yeah. Momo number two right here, guys. Momo number yeah, yeah, yeah. two. Damn, man. We got Frank Avina in the house, man, from Let's Connect Now podcast oh, yeah. and stuff, man. So he's on with us. and But... We got a special guest, man. We've been trying to get this guy for a while. I mean, going through channels to get this guy. <laughs> he finally made it happen, man. We got Steve Villegas. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Thanks right? Villegas. Did I yeah, say it right? Yeah, yeah. Steve, yeah. Steve, yeah. No, sure. Steve, Steve Villegas. 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 Oh, okay. Wait, say it again? Villegas. 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 Like Vegas. Yeah, but yeah, you guys. Like Vegas, but nothing like it. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always jack up. So just call him Steve. Hey, yeah. hey, Steve. Yeah. What's up, what's up? Yeah. You said, you said yeah. Villegas, right? Villegas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's Villegas. He's like, don't ever try it again. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, don't butcher your good. last name. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't know you didn't speak Spanish. I thought maybe you didn't. No. Just because I'm dark, bro. Does it mean? I speak Spanish. I figure. I figure. Nah, but man. But hey, man. Thanks for coming on, man. No, I, I mean, we've been trying man. to get you for a while, and yeah. um, but let's just dig in, man. We want to know a little bit more about you, man. Okay. Uh, because you know, some people, a lot of people, are starting to recognize you, knowing who yeah. you are, because you're, you're starting to do a lot of shows. Um, yeah. you're you're on on my block. Yeah. You know, uh, you've done some uh, reoccurring roles on SWAT, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. then you've done also you actually won an award right. recently for a mm -hmm. short that you've just done. Yeah. And we'll right. get to those okay. in a little while, but. Let's find out, man. Who is Steve Viegas? What do you guys want to know? Ask questions. I want to know where you're from. Okay, I want to know where you're from. I want to know if you're in a relationship. That's it. No, it's good. I know from where I'm from. Um, Boyle Heights. Boyle Heights. Oh, dang, dude. Born and raised. I know a lot of guys from Boyle Heights, dude. Yeah, so I went out there to to Hollenbeck Middle School, Roosevelt High School. Okay. Um, So I just I grew up born and raised there. My my family was born there. Well, actually. They came from Mexico, and that's where they were, you know, going to school, high school, and all that stuff. So right. I just kind of like just blended in to the whole. <laughs> blended, <damn>. yeah, <laughs> to the whole damn city, yeah. just going there. But um, that's that's just me right there. And then um, I've always been like a quiet person, very calm, very observant. Yeah, I noticed but, um, that, man. Yeah. <laughs> but once you get me, you know, to talk and shit like that, I'll, then I can fucking conversate with. Whatever the fuck you guys want to talk about, you know. But growing up, oh, oh, we can't cuss on the show, so. Oh, sure. Not just playing. Oh, 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 sure. <laughs> hey, I'm on. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's I, I believe that. <laughs> I'm actually excited to. I, I was excited to meet you, man. I, I, I read a lot about you, so uh -huh. you know, Momo's gonna talk a little bit right here to take over a little bit. But um, <laughs> I'm from I, I'm from East LA. Oh, okay. So cool. Boyle Heights, you know, I was right, on right. both sides of the border. I actually coached for six year Boyle Heights Wolfpack. Oh, okay. So you know, I I look back at some of the some of the interviews you did and stuff like that, man. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm I'm super happy to, to be talking to somebody like you that comes from our community because right, right. No, a lot of people in that community don't understand that acting is an option. They just you know they just figure yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. You know, appreciate that, man. No, no, you're right. You're right. It, it's just something that's not in 
in, in your mind. I mean, I, yeah. you know, everybody that my homies and stuff like that, they, they didn't think of getting into acting because, yeah. you know, the typical Mexican family is like you, you graduate, you work, and if you get in with the life, city, you, know? you just made you made it. If you get a county job or a city job, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mijo, you made it, mijo. Mijo, the county right. now. Yeah. The county but work. now that I know you're from Boyle Heights, where you from, Doc? Hey, three nah, nah, set up, nah, homie. Hey, who do you know? Who's grab my house? You guys fucking grab me here. So you guys brought me here as a setup. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, I was never into a game, man. I was, I was pretty much, uh, you know, affiliated with it, but I never really actually joined the game. Um, right. I've always been just like, uh, the all right. Well, to me, it was more like, I think I understood what the meaning was to yeah. be in a gang, and mm -hmm. but, but to me, it was like, I'm not gonna be risking my life fighting for letters. That don't even belong to me. Like yeah, streets yeah. don't belong to me. Right, right, yeah. yeah. The they city could you, come yeah. come out and just wipe you out like nothing. I mean, Blocks your renting. You're renting that, a house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. that's mm -hmm. just the way it is. Now they knocked down the projects. They kicked everybody out, and mm -hmm. now everybody is, is right. The gang ain't there no more. You right. know, now yeah. they, move, they moved to like the IE and all that stuff. So that was my way of thinking at that age. Like you know, okay, it's a gang and shit, but I'm not gonna risk my life for over fucking you know letters and shit. Like <laughs> that was just me, bro. No, like, exactly, I mean, it, man. It just uh, I don't know. I, it, that's just me, man. No, that's good, though. As you as a young kid, man, you had a good head on your shoulder, man. You were like, mm -hmm. you know what? I see what I could get involved in, but then I see the outcome. Yeah. So you were like, well, you know what, man? I want to, instead of doing that, I'm going to do something different. But what were yeah. you doing then to keep yourself out of trouble? Um, no, I wasn't keeping myself out of trouble. That was oh, so you were now. still getting so I, was, I was still, you know, I was hanging around with, you know, gang members and yeah. shit like that, ditching with them and hanging out with them, whatever. Um, but I never... Uh, I was like a low key troublemaker. Like I, I was always kind of just being careful with what I do and how I mm. do it, which is why I don't have tattoos. Because even at that age, I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna get a tattoo because I don't want to have something, you know, to be identified." identified. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So if yeah. I have to rob a little fucking soda at the liquor store, or whatever, <laughs> rob they're, 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 they're not gonna be like, "Oh yeah, he had a tattoo on his neck or he had something on his hand." Right, because like, they know who you are. Then right exactly. away. Exactly. So right away. He was a smart yeah, troublemaker, yeah. 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 As smart as I can, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but that was the reason why. I mean, um, and I, I don't have no tattoos to this day, you know. So they love you in, in the film industry, right? And in acting in shows. Yeah. They, you're a blank canvas. All the people they start putting yeah, whatever no, tattoo no, that, they want on you. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. could pull it off. I mean, so, so this is something that I kind of gave uh, an example to a gang banger. He was uh, telling me, and I think it was at Bed and East. I don't know if you remember, but he was asking me like, "Hey, Steve, how how do you get into character, man? Like, they give me the script." Um, I read it, but when I get in front of them like this, mm. I just I freeze up, and, right, I'm, right. Like, and I'm like, and you know what? Like, don't freeze up. And I know you, it's probably because you get nervous because you see the producer, director, and, and they're just like staring at you, making sure what the hell, you know. So when you go in, don't. I mean, they already see your look with tattoos. Mm -hmm. They love your look. Yeah. But if you're not gonna be able to deliver it, they're gonna find someone like me who don't give a fuck and disrespect. Well, not disrespect them, but according to the character. I'm going to just go all out. Right, right. And, I, and I, to be honest, I'll, I'll fucking cuss at a uh, producer if yeah. that's what it says on the fucking script. I'm like, exactly. fuck you, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll look at you in yeah. the eye saying it. Yeah. So they, they're going to get scared and be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, so they feel it. Yeah, this is this was real. Yeah, that uh, was so, like Spencer uh, right now. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was real right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what Frank, am I, who are you, man. You hit him up, Frank. <laughs> Damn. I thought you were quiet. I thought you were quiet. He was replying. Yeah, no. So what I'm saying is that, you know, they see a gangster tatted up. That's what they expect. You don't want to yeah, go in right. there and just be kind of timid. You know, like, yeah. they're, they're going to be like, oh, okay, well, nice. thanks for coming in, you know? And then on yeah, to the next. next. Yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah. go with somebody that, that could just deliver it, and they'll just place tattoos on me and just make me look like the party. Oh, that exactly. guy was you know? good. I'm missing I, I my wallet. I actually remember that day. And you remember? Yeah, it was there. And you made a, a great point, which I, I remember to this day. Uh huh. You said you, you, you own that part. Right. So I think you said you had like a cigarette in your ear or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that, that or was a fake was, cigarette. That was you a, fucking uh -huh. like tossed it at the. That was at one of my auditions, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. He even so tossed it. Yeah, like I you, tossed you it. Bro. Tossed so it. this was actually for SWAT. Like um, my very first audition for SWAT. Um, I had the lines in my head already. They were memorized. I was like, I was just like, man, I want to go in there and just kill it. But mm. I was missing something. I was missing something. So I just, I was in my car reading the lines. I'm like, damn, I'm ready, but I'm missing something. So I got a piece of paper. I rolled it up like a joint. You know, so I, I said to myself, this is what I'm going to use to kind of, like, go with the scene. Yeah. That's so with tight. the scene, going with the cop and this and that. You know, I'm sure you've been, like, um, in front of a cop where they're talking to you and just, like, ignoring them. Like, yeah, yeah, whatever and shit. You know, like, you're doing that type of shit, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the scene where he's talking to me. He's, he's, he's in my neighborhood. He's new to my neighborhood. He just moved in. 
And I'm kind of like tripping out, like, you know, who the fuck are you type of thing, you know? So I think one of my last lines was like, um, my family's been on this block since 1969. Yeah. We roll deep. And then I look at this one, like, you don't. And then I hit the, I mean, I hit the, the cigarette, supposedly. And I throw it to the casting director's face. Boom. And then I walk <laughs> away. And then I, I'm like, fuck. Damn. <laughs> I, turn, I turn back around. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, and she's like, oh, no, no, no. That was, oh, my God. That was amazing. Like, <laughs> that was, she's like, she's all burnt right here. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she, No, you she, delivered she, it. Yeah, yeah. That's that dope, dude. Yeah, she was like, no, thanks for coming in. Is this your first time? I'm like, no, yeah. this is my second time. She's like, oh, okay, well, God, wow, thanks for coming in. Like, you know what? And then the next day, I woke up to missed calls from my agent, fucking emails, this and that. And the, you know, the police, the real police, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the real police. Yeah, man. So the email was like, oh, my God, we love what Steve did at the audition. We want him for the character of Marcos and blah, blah, blah. And that's dope, I, man. You know, and so, I'm not yeah. going to lie, man, that, that episode on SWAT mm -hmm. where I think that's the one you auditioned for. You know, oh, right, right. The first, the that first. shit was intense. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, I think you're the guys in an alley or something like that. And, yeah. And the cop was a white boy, was, like, trying to fucking... He's trying to be cool with you. Like, fuck. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was, was a basketball court. So that episode continued getting me more episodes on yeah. the show. that's cool, man. That's so, dope, man. Because so, it, yeah. at the end of the day, man, what, what I think what actors don't understand, and it's what I've learned, too. Uh, come on, I'm not... I was getting into acting, and then when I did do my role that I had to do for a film that we did... Mm -hmm. They told me, "You want to be good, dude. Just be yourself. Right. That's it. Because sometimes what happens is we go in to overshoot it. Yeah, because we're trying to be something that, right. like, they, they, like you said, they picked you because of your look. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself now. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And if you just deliver it, you got the part. That's a plus, yeah. But that's the problem. They try to go in and they analyze it too much. Like, oh, I gotta be something I'm not. I gotta do. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. just go in and be like, hey, and say the lines. This is what I would do yeah. if I'm on the street, and that's yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that's, that's what you do. You yeah. just like, just but you just kind of mm -hmm. like uh, improv a little bit. And yeah. Get, get your stuff. Just something very small. I didn't overdo it. I didn't do shit. Whatever. But it got me the part. Just and like, it got you, you know? the part. Like an impression is what you did. Yep. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And that, and and I and I said that to myself because I knew that like a lot of actors were gonna come in doing like, hey, what's up, doll? Like, what you doing? Like. I don't do that. Even in the in the shows that I'm um, I'm on on SWAT and on my block, I don't mm -hmm. I don't use the what's up ass shit. Like I don't do none of that. Yeah, I, I see I, it's that. me the way I'm talking to you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I deliver it and make sure you get the fucking point. You know, yeah, even yeah. when I'm looking at you dead yeah. in the eye, I'm being a, serious. A lot of about it, it is that the look you have. Yeah. So I, I stare I stare you down at the in, in yeah. the eye. You know, like I just feel it's something different than the normal that you see. Like what's up, bitch? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, like we have seen so many of that already. Well, for me. See you on all my block, bro. I think you were too good for them. Because, yeah, no, <laughs> dude, well, seriously, it. I feel like they're trying. And right, then right, this, right. this guy, Steve, comes and he's like natural. And yeah. it's like, hey, you guys suck, dog. No, <laughs> no, 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 bro. Now, now no. that he said it, that's for real. Like, no, I think no, you're no. one of the best actors on that show. No, I'm not going to lie no. to you, man. That, my, my family loves that show. Yeah. What I like about that show is I thought it was a kid's show. And then I got it to I go, this is actually a lot deeper uh, yeah, than a yeah. kid's yeah. show, right? Yep. But what's up with your uh, with your boy? The, the, the your, your your boy in the show. He went from cholo to like the bookies, like real quick. I like guess hair got all curly. Oh spooky. yeah, yeah, um, spooky. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah, he became. I mean, that was his his. his no, uh, but it, it was just funny to see yeah. him like that. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He. Uh, what, what's funny is uh, there's a bunch of shit on TikTok, little memes and all that. Like, the people create, yeah, and he's a new it guy. Yeah, yeah, he oh, is. Yeah. Like, Spooky's out. Fun, he's in, he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, like, yeah, and no, I love it, man. It's funny. The fans are cool, man. I mean, just just off of the episodes that they gave me, it, it just became a big deal. So I was like, damn, what's up? So I'm gonna just run with it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I just Good run show. with it. But, but I'm yeah. serious. I'm, I'm dead serious, man. Because like mm -hmm. you, like it, it's true. The way you're talking to us right now. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how it's, you're like that on the show, I, cause right? Because I, I I did watch it, right? And I and I was like, so I, I'm seeing it, yeah. Because other guys, I feel like they're just they're just. I, I mean, don't, and don't get me wrong, I love the show, right? It's great, but you know, and and I support Latinos, yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, like sometimes we did let's just keep just it real, let's keep, just it, keep real. it real, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep it real and right. stuff. But how did you get into this exactly. acting business, bro? Let's, let's so rewind. okay, yeah, let's, let's, a little let's, bit. let's go you, back to. to oh, wait, you know what? Yeah. He wants to go to commercial. Oh, commercial. Oh, shit. Of yeah, yeah. Jimmy always. Tell, tell us the most important part about your life. Hold on, never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. We'll so be back. We'll be, we'll be back. back. We'll go to commercial. We'll be right back, man. All right, guys. Hey, check it out, man. I'm right here at our sponsors, man. I'm at here DNA Prints. That's right, DNA Prints, man. They're located right here in the city of industry. Look at, they do it all, man. They print stickers, they print banners, they do apparel, they do Mikey Boy apparel. Right here, they do Mikey Boy apparel, man. So check them out. They're one of our sponsors, man. DNA Prints. 
Check out 626-501-0404. Give them a call, man, because if not, look at Daniel's not gonna support us. We're back with the main man, Steve, right here. Steve, what? The Yankees. <laughs> Steve Las Vegas. Steve yeah. Las Vegas. <laughs> Steve yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, right before commercial break, you were about to tell us how you got into acting or what right. was your big break or, or what led you down that road. Exactly. So, okay. I so, um, as a kid, um, I used to watch these uh, action films like Van Damme, Arthur Schwarzenegger. Oh, hell yeah. You know, all that shit, right? Van Damme. So, so I used to, yeah. <laughs> How many so times did you to... put your fist in gummy bears? I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. He's a gummy yeah, bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so that, that's kind of like what got me into acting, wanting to be like that, yeah. that main dude or at least that, that type of vibe, you know? Right. But my parents never put me into acting class. They, they, were, they saw me as a quiet one, whatever. They, if anything, they put my brother into it because he was more talkative and this and that oh right? shoot so they yeah. have faith in him that you yeah you know? exactly oh, pretty much so it was cool i mean i was a shy person it's probably better the way it happened the way it's happening mm -hmm. so um you know years went by i never they never put me into acting class whatever so i waited till i was 18 18 years old then i started doing a uh, background work you know extra work you know exactly. just, just, yep, trying, yep. just trying to get in whatever before i didn't but what know was what your what was your take on that like on the background work were you like because i remember my first time dude uh -huh. My buddy's like, hey, dude, you got to go on set, do background work. And the first time I ever did background work, it was the new Melrose. Okay. Oh, so. <laughs> and I sat there, and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> this yeah, yeah. is whack. <laughs> like, dude, no one's talking to me. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. sat there for freaking like 10 hours, yep, yep. and I never been on set. And I was like, this so, yeah. well, you guys are talking about acting. My yeah. background work, I thought I, was, I painted the walls in the background. That's what I was my background work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No, it was boring, man. I mean, I did it for a couple of years. It was frustrating, man, especially when they treat you different. From yep, the, they you treat you different. Like, talking about talking about last like, I didn't like that shit, man. So even now where I'm at, I've, I see the background, and I'm just like, fuck, yeah. I remember where I was at. Right. But because I remember that, I, I just... I appreciate the background because without the background, there's it's not gonna look real. That's the you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So, Big Sister said that last week. Yeah. So I mean, I, I mean, I've been through it. I know what it's like. Uh, you're, you're treated different. Mm -hmm. they, they yell at you like shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like you're nothing, right? Shit? Yeah, exactly. So again, you had to do what you had to do mm -hmm. to get to where you want to get to. Yeah. Um, I didn't know about side vouchers until I got three of those. Yeah. Like I joined the union. I thought mm -hmm. maybe I thought maybe it was like. Oh, they like your look and you're yeah, a star. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, it's not. It's uh, totally <laughs> different, bro. You, yeah. you gotta get the SAG, this and yep. that. You gotta join the union. Then you gotta get an agent, this and that. It's whole process. So anyway, I was doing background for a while. I want to say from like 20 years old, 18, kind of. Yeah, you could say 18, 19 to like maybe 22, 23. Oh shoot, you're doing for a I while. Was, I was, I was getting there little by little, mm -hmm. but then I ended up having kids. So. Okay. That whole situation happened, being in love and all this stuff, right? So then I told myself I'm going to come back within like a year. But a year turned into two, three, four, five, whatever. Mm. Kids? No, no, no. No, no, no. Wow. no the year. The year. No, no, no. Kids I only had two. <laughs> no, only two. Only two kids. Um, the years went from one, two, three, four, yeah. five, right? <laughs> Just clearing that shit up. Nah. So, um, you know, I was like, damn, man, you know, I'm already like 27. I got to get back, you know? So I was, I was going through a situation with my ex, whatever. Um, I hit I hit up uh, the casting service I was in because it was slow, mm. and I'm like, hey, are you guys uh by any chance like throwing people out there like booking anything or, or what? And they're like, or am I, am I paid up to date? And she's like, oh no, it's just been real slow. Mm. I'm like, damn, all right, cool. Um, and I wasn't gonna call her that night. It was already like 9 p.m. If I wouldn't have called her that night, I probably wouldn't. Life wouldn't have been the way it is to lead me to where I'm at now because wow. check this out I just decided to call her fuck it 9 p.m. who cares you know she's like oh yeah they're they're not um they're not taking anyone right now but you know what you know what let, let me check there is one actually thank let me check and then she checked whatever she's like okay they are looking for a Latino actor there's uh like 10 people being submitted I'll go ahead and send you in um it's you know it's a it's an extra world whatever mm -hmm. um it's kind of like a feature whatever so I'm like, all right, cool. She sent me, I mean, she, she submitted me. She kept in touch with me. Like, okay, the next day, they're down to like eight. You're still in the loop. The oh, next nice. day, you're down to like six. You're still in the loop. 
you know, two, three days went by, okay, you're still in the loop, there's two more, now it's between you and the other person. I'm like, all right, cool. Then the last final phone call was like, okay, they want you. So I'm like, all right, cool. I still wasn't excited. You know, I was like, okay, just fuck Not it. Not until you're I'm, on set. You're yeah, like, yeah, I was just like, fuck it, another, another background work, you know, yeah. a job. I mean, so I go and I get there, right, and I see a, a bald head, like a, a gangster-looking bald head, but just the back of his head. And I'm like, okay, that's probably the fool that's going to play my homie and shit. So I go in and I start signing the papers, you know, to get paid and all that shit. As I'm, signing, as I'm filling out the paperwork, I, uh, I hear this familiar voice. And then I stop. I'm like, nah, it can't be that fool. Like, there's no way. Hell no. Nah. Like, you know, so then I was done. I'm walking out the, the hotel. As I'm walking out, this fool's walking in. So we kind of bump into each other. And then I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, shit, what's up, dog? So it was no LG. Yeah. Oh, all right. So it was no He's like, hey, what's up, that's man? Like, yeah, have, have we worked with each other? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I just, I know who you are and shit. I'm like, all right, that's what's up. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, hey, uh, you're Hector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, uh, so you're playing the homie then? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. So from that point on, we had like a whole month together. A whole month. He got to know me. I got to know him. Um, you know, he liked me. He was cool. Um, from there, after the set was done, he, he gave me his number. He's like, hey, man, uh, give me a call, man. I want you to come to my church, and, you know, I just want you to, you know, show your church, bring your kids, bring your, I mean, your wife, whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. I went. and um, <laughs> yeah, Sorry, so bro. Like, like, yeah. uh, we're, we're like journalists, reporters. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, heard yeah, you yeah. say what you said. Well, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. We're, we're, we're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't edit that one out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're good, you're good. So um, at the time, my wife, whatever, um, <laughs> you know, I was like, <laughs> So I then I, I go and, you know, I chop it up with him. I mean, we just, he became my brother, dog. Like, yeah. now we're like this. No, you know? no, that was cool, man. He's, and yeah. he said that he, he only invests time in people he sees yeah. authenticity in and that they're, yeah. they're legit. Yeah, they're yeah, serious. He, he does yeah, a hard, he does a hard check and yeah, stuff. So yeah, that's, that's dope. So I never bugged him about an agent. He, he, he offered, you know, like I could, I could introduce you to an agent that I know that I used to work with. But I never bugged him after that. So it was like about maybe six months, maybe close to a year. Mm-hmm. One day he hit me up and he said, "Hey, I'm gonna go check out my um, my old agent. I'm gonna go visit her. Uh, why don't you come and I can tr- introduce you to her?" And then you go from there. I'm like, "All right, cool, whatever." I went. He introduced us. Um, whatever. Like she she liked me. I, I sent her a headshot. Um, I think that same night she sent me an audition. I read it. Um, I recorded it. I submitted it and I booked it. So that wow. was my first audition. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, so uh, that might have been you know that might have made a, a good impression. So then she started submitting me for more. That's how I got on my block. That's how I got SWAT. That's how I got deputy. That's how I got um, this film called High and Mighty. And it just it keeps going, you know. Mm-hmm. But what I'm trying to tell you is that if I wouldn't have made that phone call, I probably wouldn't have met Noel. He mm. probably wouldn't. I, I would have not met him the way I met him. Right, right. I yeah. wouldn't have met the agent. Right. And I wouldn't have gotten on my block. I wouldn't have been um, submitted to those auditions. Like. It's just funny how the life whole ripple works, effect, bro. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. You know? So what you're saying is, if you want to be an actor, go to that church in Whittier and go. Look, go follow. <laughs> Look, no. First of all, you follow Noel G. Yeah. 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 Step yeah. one. You show no. up and you make sure he sees you when you yeah. show up. Hey, dog, I, I'm feeling real religious right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, that that led me to a question I wanted to ask you. Right, I, you know, I scrolled through your Instagram. By the way, I got to do that in private because last time I was scrolling, it was you with your shirt off. I didn't want the homie. <laughs> Uh, I want to get to your fitness because I feel like that's real important to you. But um, what what role did Noel G play in your life? Because it seems like you have a real close bond. I see him in a lot of your videos. Yeah. Uh, did, did he did he take you under your wing? Did he kind of show you something? Yeah, he pretty much took me under his wing at the beginning, you know. And um, again, he he introduced me to the agent. He didn't have to. Yeah, you know, yeah. He didn't have to because that is a lot. It's hard for someone to even get an agent. You know, mm-hmm. you got. Yeah, it like, is. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. You really got to mm-hmm. have st- uh, things under your belt. Right. But because. You know, he put a good word in for me, you know, and, and I always told him, like, no matter what, what level I get into, whatever the hell, like, I am not going to change towards Noel. You know, like, he's he's just, I'm going to say this story. You're grateful, yeah. yeah. You're I'm, grateful. I'm always going to say this so, so story. Noel, the truth. He has a good you heart. Know? Yeah. No, Noel has a, he was, he was just recently on the show. Yeah. Right, right, right. So on, on the show, too. So, mm-hmm. and he was just telling us that he really loves to help people, man. Yeah, yeah. But, but they have to be genuine. Exactly. And they, and they want to. We, they want they have to be able to help themselves. Like, right. I, right. I'm not carrying dead weight. No, no, you're right. Yeah. You're right. And yeah, he he did that, and I, I had to do my job with, yeah. with the mm-hmm. auditions, this and that. Like he he can't walk me through all that. Right, so everything right. I've gotten after he introduced me to the agent was all me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he did the biggest part, which was introduce me to the agent, yeah. 
And I just got to do my job from that point on, you know? That's dope, man. Th- there was a yeah. video you guys did together. I think it was Mr. Criminal. Uh, li- oh, yeah, yeah. Lies on Lies. Uh-huh. Dude, that, 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 I mean, the song's dope, but right, right, right. just the mini video movie you guys did. Was right. Yeah, Criminal actually shot that. He was, was he, he was the one recording it. Really? Yeah, he was the one recording it. Um, you guys did, I don't know if you checked it out. It, no, I haven't checked it out. Fucking like yeah. some betrayal. Is that YouTube or something? It's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's on some YouTube. fucking betrayal shit. Yeah, like, yeah. My boy. Comes yeah, out yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's cool. We work a lot with each other, man. Be, um, like I said, we're we're real close. I mean, I know a lot of his personal shit. He knows a lot of my personal shit. Yeah. But like what? Like yeah. everything. Like <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, bro. Well, I want to hear. We know personally where Chichi goes to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's family, man. He's he's family and he's always gonna be family and I've all, nah, I'm always is, gonna man. say this you know that he's he's just I got love for that fool man he's that's what's up and he, again there ain't that many people out there like him that are in the industry already that will give you that right hand, you know yeah and I know a whole bunch of them but it's like whatever you know but point is, is that Noel has a good heart he's dope um but you don't want nobody taking advantage of you. And I think oh, exactly. that's why that's yeah, why yeah. he kinda has oh, it yeah, all. Yeah, he's hesitant. He, yeah. he, he, he helps you. Yeah. That as well. Exactly. So I showed him what's up, you know, and, and again, I'm cool as fuck. I'm cool with everybody. I don't I don't care what people say about me, dog. Like I'm just gonna keep smiling wherever I fucking yeah, walk yeah. around. You know, if you if you have a problem with me then I guess if you want to fucking let me know, then. But why, we'll I don't see there. why would someone have a problem with you, bro. You're like so humble. Like hey, you're so. Well, you know what I mean? Why every time I, I, you say I, I, problem, I, dog, you look at me like you're acting. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I got yeah, no yeah. problem with that. Because you hit no, him no. up. Guys, this guy's good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him up. No, no, no. I think what it is is a visual yeah. aspect. Bald, because most of, well, you have hair before. Are you bald? Now, you're bald, right? No, no, I, I just oh, have hair. Like, oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. No, I go, I go slick, bald. I mean, slick back, bald. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do whatever. Shame on Sean, man. Because he does have that look, and you know, fools just like the size people. Are. Yeah, it's just the, and you're what it is, man. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, half of it's Haiti, half the, of it's like yeah. Like especially fool. being in the, I mean, man, I get, I get DMs like yeah. from random shit talking about like. Uh, yeah, when I see you, I'm gonna roll up on you. I'm gonna this and that, but, but they're <laughs> but they're yeah. fake. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? See, is that? Like, whatever the that fuck. That means you're a like, good gangster on my yeah, block. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like trying to like. like they, they're all fuck the Santos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're straight out. They're straight out banging and yeah, shit. I'm like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? He's like, I'm just acting dog. Like, what the fuck? fuck? You guys but, but, but you know what? You never jumped a little spooky. Yeah, yeah. But but in reality, man, like. I probably should be careful because I don't know who the fuck is. Like, like the other day, I went to fucking Universe Studios with my kids, and I get back home and I look at my shit and I see DMs like, "Hey, you were at Universe Studios? I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to say what's up and take a picture." Like, so what I'm saying is that people are watching and you just don't know who the you fuck don't know. is. Crazy yeah. Yeah. Who's not. You're thinking you're being incognito, right? Like, right. Doing your thing, but yeah. people are recognizing you, right? And you don't know um, if someone's gonna roll up. Because exactly. then we have so. Uh, I think we did. We talk to somebody recently that they said, um, I don't know if you're here, but they're saying that they don't like to say where they're at. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. Uh, rule number one is you, you don't post. say where they're yeah, at. They, they, they post they, where they, you're they, at two hours later. That's, yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. They yeah. post where they're at two hours later because they don't want stalkers. That was that girl, that that Lorena. No, Re- oh, your yeah, yeah, show. She posts, yeah, on yes. Show, yeah. Sorry, I was, I was recording yeah. his, their show. Yeah, their yeah, episode. yeah, yeah. It's a little plug right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's connect now. That kind of comes with the acting, right? Like, your privacy is done. Yeah, it is. Once you get to the point like where you're at right now, like this yeah, is I mean, it is. Unless you're gonna roll around with a fake beard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could imagine, bro. Everybody tells me I look familiar. Everywhere I go, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, nah, you don't. Mario time, Lopez. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could ask my wife. Slater. And so one time, and I get, I, I get what you're saying. One time, I was in City Terrace getting some gas right off the ten, right by Cal State LA, that little gas station right by okay. the McDonald's. I go get gas, and some guys like, hey, you know me? I was like, nah. <laughs> he's like, nah. He's like, you he's know like, you know me, dog. Like he was, he was, he was like, this fool was like a Santo. Dog straight up, this guy's crazy. Dog. But he was like, he, the guy wanted to fight me, bro. So it's like, oh, like you say, right? Like people, even somebody that's not famous, like you gotta really watch what you're doing, especially yeah. you, you. You know, you're well known. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I get yeah. what you're saying. Kind of famous, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just stupid, man. It's like, just it's dumb, you know. I just I just avoid it, dog. Like I I come to this, you know. Time and age where it's like yeah. I got kids. Oh yeah, like it ain't fucking worth it to me though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's that's why I'm saying like that's you how could, I am you, too, bro. You could fucking hate me. You could talk shit about me. It ain't gonna fucking bother me at all. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to go to jail because of pride, bro. No, it ain't. Yeah, I mean, fuck unless they're, they unless they literally yeah, unless they attack Jimmy. you and shit, yeah, then you gotta fucking defend yourself. If they attack me or my kids, yeah. then yeah. we're gonna do something. But if you're like 
Just talking crap. Ah, fool, go. Hey, or or unless you cut me off on the freeway, dog. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> that window, though. He's like, off the yeah. <laughs> But you said you waited like six months to a year for that call, man. You, you got a lot of patience, and I, I can see that. And you're super calm. You got that calm demeanor about you. Did you play any sports growing up or anything like that? Did Basketball, you? yeah. yeah. Basketball is my like favorite sport. Um, or you're I played, tall, I played, damn I played, it. I played, <laughs> it. I played yeah, it in Evergreen, yeah. <laughs> in Evergreen Park. Oh, Evergreen yeah, Park, Yeah, right. I used to play there all the time and shit. Oh, so you play in that little rec center? And yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool, right man. There. I, I, I used to hey, why don't you guys go eat somewhere or something? Have a yeah. good time. Have a whole conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to go eat at Cinco Puntos or what? Yeah, I don't know if that's a tongue or what. Whatever, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, on that note, man, we'll be right back with Steve. Yeah, yeah. Steve. Steve. What's up? It's your boy Slick Vic from Jerry and the Crew, and we got my boy Steve Viegas here. Viegas. <laughs> Steve. What's up, man? What grinds your gears? Damn. Well, now, nowadays, man, I think what kind of just gets me a little bit uh, upset is the way this world is right now, man. You know, like you go into these restaurants, they have you put on a mask, but then they have you take it off when you're eating. It's like, what the fuck are you doing this shit? You know what I mean? Like, it's the same. Like, why? You know what I mean? Um, it just it irritates me because it's just be, it's become very like retarded to me now. Same thing when I go to like Universal Studios, they ask for this vaccination, the negative COVID test, whatever. But then they still want you to wear the damn mask the whole time walking around the damn park and shit. Like for what? What's the whole point of all this? But that's pretty much what's been pissing me off lately, you know. That's you it. heard him, COVID yeah. rises his gears. Yeah. Cool. Welcome back to JR and the Crew. I'm, I'm filling in right now for Mobile with a special guest right here. Bro, you don't need to say it anymore. Yeah, you're, you're Frank Avina, fool. I'm Frank Avina, baby. Woo! And we're right here with Steve Gallegos. Not Las Vegas. Yeah. Not, Gallegos. Not, Gallegos. Gallegos. What the fuck? Viegas. 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 It wasn't Viegas. me, dog. It wasn't no, me. No, no, bro. It's, yeah, I was thinking Las Vegas. I was trying to yeah, get yeah. away from that. So, yeah, yeah, Viegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve yeah. Viegas, guys. So yeah, cool. we just butchering his last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But man, we, we, we're off, we were talking off set, man. We were talking about uh, Vic was talking to you about a, a movie, uh, Mundo, Mundo, Mundo. Right, right, right. that you were in, man. And 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 uh, how was that, bro? Because I mean, I know it was a it was a controversial type, uh, low in, indie film type thing because you know right. it, it does depict a uh, a guy who right, um, right. who's a rat basically, right. you know. And and a lot of people were like, hey, don't touch that, don't be right. a part of that. But yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah. me, I, to be honest, I didn't know what the hell it was. I mean, I just heard the story. It was about us, an assassin, whatever. They didn't even mm-hmm. really mention Mundo. Until oh, so they told you assassin? Yeah. Oh, so, shoot. So I was like, okay, cool. I, d- I didn't really know the, the backstory to all this mm. Mundo stuff until once it was done, I looked into it. I'm like, oh, shit. This is <laughs> <laughs> You're like, old. I'm That's already what like, Sailor Boy really did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool. I... I I had nothing to do with this Mundo fool. Like, I don't even know who the fuck this fool was or yeah. what. I didn't play right, a character right. Mundo. So it's like, all right, whatever. You know, it's, right. it was just something that I just, you know, I did. It was a role. For yeah. you, you're, you're an actor. Yeah, it was it's a role. It's a you're craft. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but a lot of people might have, I don't know, to be honest, they might have taken it a little personal. But again, right. it, it's, I mean, I guess my bad. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. What was going, I don't know what <laughs> yeah. was going on and shit. But. But from that experience, I kind of learned. All right, cool. Don't don't really fuck with these type of films, you know. Mm, yeah. And I mean, I'm t- I'm in a different position now, so I won't even be fucking with that type of film. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, no, that that was just it. I mean, it was cool filming it, but but you I, were telling I, us a story too that you, you were telling us that because you got in that film, uh, uh, some other people didn't want to. Yeah, work other, with other you. people didn't want to work with me. Um, well, not other people. It was just one or two individuals that didn't mm-hmm. want me part of their film. So. I'm like, all right, cool. If that's going to be the excuse for you to not want me in your film and not really focus on the craft of acting. Right, right, right then, yeah. All right, whatever, you know. So, again, I guess they didn't want they didn't want to have photos or just any kind of connection with me. So it was all good, you know. Um, again, that's just how they feel. But you were an you know? a- HBO like, event. Yeah. Well, you I can mean, tell the story again, bro. Yeah, we yeah. we, we, we right, let it. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's no, no, it was just, it, it's just, it's crazy how things run, man, because, I mean, they didn't want me part of the film. Um, there was this HBO event. They saw me there. They they found out that I was working. I mean, they found out that I won an HBO award for a film called Slipping Into Darkness. Mm-hmm. And from there, oh, I feel like they 
they felt like, oh shit, we kind of messed up <laughs> by by, up, yeah. by being like that with mm-hmm. with Steve when he was just he was just being an actor and shit. Like you know? say, it's yeah, just yeah. about the craft. Yeah, it's yeah. just about the craft, and I I will never dislike anybody just because they were part of a film, you know? It's right. Like, unless it's some dumb shit, like like really like I don't know. Well, maybe he disre- you disrespected yeah. them or something. Yeah, that, yeah but but other purpose. than that, I mean, um, it is what it is, you know. I, I, again, I don't I don't care if you dislike me or if you do whatever. If you want to go ahead and squash it. And just apologize for whatever it is that you feel that you well, thought you did wrong. Say their names, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's cool. I, I, Wait, I, what I, church do they go to? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but that's a great point. That a lot of people don't realize, man. And you, you mentioned it earlier. I don't know if it was off mic. I think it w- might have been on. But you said that circle is real small. And people don't realize what you do today could come back and bite you tomorrow. That's yeah, right? exactly. You never know what position. So somebody could be your employee and become your boss later on. You know exactly, what I mean? So, yeah. Exactly. Uh, that's, that's a great point you're making. Yeah, no, there. you just never know, man. That's why you got to treat everybody the same, man. Like, no, you you're know? treating you got, yeah, up. respect and all that shit, and I mean, I I'm cool with everybody, man. Like every everywhere I go, it's cool. They show love, and I just like to show love back. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Cause even if they show it on on social media, I can't get back to each and every one. Yeah. So I'll yeah. probably just do a video thanking everybody that I've seen your messages right, right. that come in. Thank yeah. you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Like. I got nothing but love for you guys, you know? Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank yeah, you, thank I'll, you. I'm still on unread right now. So, so. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> no, but it comes out right. genuine. It, you're right. humble and, and, you know, yeah. you you can tell you appreciate the people that do support you. Yeah, no, yeah, no, most definitely. Man, because you, without them, I mean, shit, you know? But yeah, talking about fans. winning awards, it's yeah. the thing you got going on because you've been winning yeah. awards lately. Hell yeah, you went, went to New York, bro. I went to New York. We won, we won an award for, um, well, I won one for Best Male Drama Actor. Watch mm. that. And then uh, best, yeah. best Drama Film and then the Audience Award. Wow. So the Audience Award actually comes from the people that watch it. You know? And what, so, what, what, what film festival was this? This was a official Latino. Um, okay, film in New York. Was, yeah, in New York, uh, with Danny. Um, HBO was there. I mean, nice. everybody was there. You know, all the homies from New York came through. Like everybody was out there. You oh, know? that's dope, man. So we came deep from from LA too. It was like, like, <laughs> like down to like and, thirteen, and that was the fourteen film, heads. Uh, broad daylight, right? In broad daylight, yeah. Which yeah. Um, I played a sheriff in that one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. hello, sheriff, yeah, yeah. background sheriff, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we, had, we had a new special guest that we're interviewing today, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They made me shave my like, my goatee for that one. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I just had like a mustache. Oh, yeah, I see yeah, the picture. Yeah, because they, they had an actual, I think they had an actual, well, your partner in, mm-hmm. the, in the film. He's yeah. Like, uh, you know that they wouldn't rock it like that, so they brought out the Clippers. I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. And then you had, and then and then uh, what's it? Went too as well. He uh, uh, sees, yeah, sees, George. yeah. yeah Fruits from LA. There. George was yeah. out there. In, uh, he was out there in New yeah, York too. New York. So yeah, um, well we got we actually got the feature done already. Like like the script is done. But we just wanted to show like a the concept of it, you know. So, so people, that was like a short pilot type thing. Yeah, then. yeah. And it's and the, then, it's the same guys from Slipping in the Darkness, right? Yeah, same guys uh, from Slipping in the Darkness. Uh, Davey and yeah, and we want and we won the award for for HBO. So mm. you, if you want to, you know, watch Slipping into Darkness, you could catch it on HBO, you know. And catch so it how, how did Sonya do? Because she hit me up today. Who? Sonya. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we'll say it was a question. Sonia, Sonia, how, how uh-huh. did she do? Because she, oh, hit, no, she, she did, hit me she up did. today, and, and after I was like, because uh, we, we, you know, she was, we we, we want to get her on the show. She's like, uh-huh. hey, get us on the show, you know? Right, right, and, right. and I go, well, Steve's gonna be here today. Why don't you come? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you know, she's she's in Santa, she's up north because her her, right. her Theo passed away. But yeah, um, you know, and I was like, but hey, yeah, no, she did real good. She did she real good. Um, actually, there was a scene that she was supposed to do. Um, after well, I don't want I don't want to kill the. The, the story, but she was supposed to do a scene where she comes out crying, but I think they cut it because it was just, it, it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed at the moment, yeah. But um, she did real good. I mean, she's got yeah. the potential. She's got, you know, the hunger for it. And when she came out here, I was just telling her, like, that, you know, just watch out for these type of people. Mm. I mean, you are a female. So people are gonna try to sell you the dream, and you know, you know how it is. So and then she ended up hooking so, up with you. Or? No, 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 Played like she was like she has scrubs and all that, right? Cause she's a, like the mom. Yeah, she's, she plays the mom. Uh-huh. She, she killed that scene as a mom, like you could tell. But then she could get dolled up and play this like. Yeah, and then she got the yeah. King of Downey. She she's all. Oh yeah. right, right. So, but my thing is, um, your role in that film because 
I saw the trailer, right? And it, it, it your role kind of reminded me of Training Day. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So is that what it kind of is? It pretty much is like that. Just okay. wearing, wearing uniform, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> so just wearing the, uniform. The main story is not about gangs. It's not about gangs. Right? It's just about the corruption and, and the sheriffs and mm-hmm. cops and this and that, you know. So there's good cops and there's bad cops, and just I'm put in a situation where it's like, damn, what what decisions do I make? You know? What right. I mean? Right. So, um, but yeah, it's pretty much like a training day. Yeah, because a lot of cops are in that decision. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's, there's really good cops out there. Yeah, yeah there but is. they're with a partner. Yeah, right. he jacks up oh, yeah. and partner. puts them in the position. Most of the time, it's a seasoned partner that's right. You know, that yeah. just yeah. thinks he knows, and yeah, yeah. yeah. and they're yeah, like, because yeah. <clears throat> like in anything, you know, hey, hey the, the police department, that's like a big, the biggest gang in the world. You know what I mean? So right. they got to be loyal to each other. Yeah. So they're like, what do I do? Yeah, type yeah. thing, and then you got to like. You know, so that's kind of cool, man. Yeah, no, it's, it's something it's different. Role. I mean, I always, I'm always playing like these criminal roles. Uh-huh. So coming into playing the cop role, it, mm. it was something different. Um, again, I was able to. Pull but you it looked off. like a cop. Uh huh. You did look like a cop. Yeah, yeah, you, no, they they, they, like they went legit with the uniform. Hell yeah, dude. You know? so <laughs> the whole sheriff the, the equipment everything. and everything. I was even running in boots. My God, <laughs> I was dying because I was. Like you said, not to give away the film, but yeah, there was a scene where a chasing scene, and I'm just like, fuck, dude, like. I've seen this shit happen so many times in real life. Yeah. yeah he killed it. Yeah, he no, killed thanks, it. man. Killed Thank it, you. Dude. Yeah, running in boots ain't no joke, man. So I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, shit. They're like, like, why are you so fast? I'm used to running at Cortez, not yeah, boots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot lighter. For real. It's man, a little actually. lighter now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good, man. I, I couldn't walk for days. My God, it was my, my feet were in pain, and I was like, oh, like mad. But it but it worked yeah. with, right. uh, with the character. It, it, it yeah. got you to character. Yeah. Exactly. So it worked. I mean, if I can. No. No, and and how is it like you know I mean, you go from on my block right, and then you go to I, I mean how was it I don't know how was the film maybe you filmed uh what was this called again the the, the film uh, Which in broad daylight oh, in broad, in broad daylight, daylight. Uh-huh. so it's an indie indie thing and then you right. go to uh, on my block which is a huge production right so I mean how is that type of atmosphere you know. It, it, on my block, you you go there, man, and, and like craft is different. Yeah, yeah. craft is different. The, <laughs> well, the lunch is different. Well, all little Caesars <laughs> chicken over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, on my block is is a production that that hired me when I went to audition and all that stuff. Right. In right? broad daylight, it's it's my team. Like we we call it four ways. So we made that film. You know, it's not. Oh, so you're part of four ways. Part wow. of four ways. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So that's he, how we. He was the fourth way. Yeah, yeah. He was the fourth <laughs> way. So that's way, the fourth way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that that's that's me and my my compadres production team. Oh, that's and, tight, yeah. man. So, so we cool. do that's the films, tight. you know, like that, and that's what we did with uh, Slipping into Darkness as well. So that that's just it's different because it's just I mean I could do whatever I want with that, you know. Right, right. And aside from like uh, on my block and SWAT, that's just that's something where I work and audition. So there's definitely for them. more passion in the four ways because that like you bring. Your own element to that, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and did, well, you ha- dope, did, did you have something to do with uh, Slipping into Darkness, like writing it or? or no, no, n- not writing it, but yeah. uh, just just bringing it, uh, like just okay. make making mm. it be real, uh, Authentic, like I yeah. mean, what I've been through in life, arguments, fighting, whatever it is, I just implement that when I get into film. Gotcha. You know, mm. same yeah. same thing with the, playing the cops. You know, I know right. I'm, not a, I'm not a police officer, but I've seen the way they act. Yeah, how they treat how you. They react, yeah, 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 exactly. How, you know, and I, um, yeah, it's just I just implement what I've seen and what I've studied in film and real life, and again, I just bring it on to to set, you know, and but, it just makes yeah, it. Look I'm real. just gonna say you did bring it, bro, because there there were some scenes where, you know, you guys are going at it, you and your partner, and the yeah. intensity is like. Yeah, no, no, if, thank if, you, man. If I didn't know it was a scene, like a set, I would have thought it was like real shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. No, thank it was you, man. In the well, fucking regular alley, so. and, and yeah. I think that's why you stand out so much because I feel like you, you, like you said, you're just genuine. You are who you are, and you're right. drawing from real life the yeah. entire time. You yes. can see it, right? Then that's why, you, again, like we were talking about on my block, you stand out like it's no, no, so, thanks. so far away from everybody else. Yeah, no, no, I, and I appreciate the the well, feedback. Who's the tallest cholo on the on my block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, I stand out. I'm like six foot four. <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. Like, I don't know. No, dis- no disrespect to the guys on my block, bro. You guys right, are good right. actors. No, dis- no, no disrespect, Santos. But yeah. be careful. Honestly, if you bro, see him on a season five, this is why. Bro, I have to admit, bro, it, it, you're like the realist on there, no, bro. Thanks, man. No, and, and I actually got a um, feedback from the creator of the show. Um, yeah. His name's Eddie. He's one of the, the producers, uh, creator of the show. So he texts me. He's like, hey, man, I just want to let you know that my wife, she was so impressed with your performance. And I just want to yeah, say yeah. thank you for bringing what you brought all these seasons. I mean, that's from season one right, to, right, four, right. to whatever. 
and um you know just stuff like that i really really appreciate you know because he didn't know me at at one point you know and by him seeing my mm -hmm. my my craft and me delivering the lines and mm -hmm. all my work ethics whatever and he he notices it that that just motivates me to just continue moving forward you know yeah but but, but, but you're right though and then just not to cut yeah. you off when when you do your mannerisms and all that they seem legit but the rest of the cast yeah, they're like this right, right. yeah they, they, they're like <laughs> yeah. like, bro, come on, stop. Come on, dog. Yeah. We don't act like that, fool. Hey, you, 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 can, you can tell who's from Studio City and who's from yeah. Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Only Steve just brings it, man. Yeah, it's no, it comes natural, but yeah. 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 No, again, it's. I mean, you. I'm not gonna go to acting class to yeah. to learn something that I learned from yeah. the street. <laughs> exactly, yeah. so dude. Probably years more. <laughs> not, only, not only that, but maybe even the 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 acting uh, coaches probably wouldn't know how to. No, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Know, because they didn't. I mean, they could show you, but it's nothing like knowing what's up with the real street. You can't coach street, culture. You know? it's exactly. Mm. Mm. You can't oh, coach culture. Damn, you didn't Ooh, that, that, that was a quote. Right. You can't coach yeah. culture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't take that food. That's ours. No, 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 yeah, 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 it's copyrighted in all states. Oh. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hey, man, check this out. We're gonna take another break, Steve. Right, cool. And when we come back, man, we want to find out what's next with you, man. Where you Got going? It. Where you headed? Right. Uh, who's been in your DMs? <laughs> I mean, all that good stuff. Right. Right. My wife. Oh, okay. Okay. My wife. Your wife. Dang. What the? Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right oh, back. Yeah. <laughs> On my dream. Quit, 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 quit talking all that shit. Don't know me and what I've been through. Might have heard some stories, maybe twice, but you still have no clue. I was out in these streets with no money and no food. Living check to check, paying bills, my fam underneath that roof. Lend your ear, listen here, ain't no stopping the G. No way. I paved the way and made mistakes, come and took the best of me. Let's go. I bounced back, then re up, what stand here is a queen. Yeah. Money moves and cash rules, everything around my team. No freebies, no free shows in the game, 20 is late. Been knocking on them doors, but they never answer me. But they hear me, they know me, and they don't want to see. Time to clear your mind and fuck me, let's go get this green. Who got it on? I think my game is strong as supposed to be. Rubber bands on nice stands, my money spreads like cream. Don't worry about me now, I've been seeking how. Been waiting, been watching, been standing on my ground. Yo, he hated me, betraying me, and stamping all you clowns. You can say what you want, but I'm still shining down. A diamond in the rough, applying pressure on the fucks. What's up? Welcome to another episode of Jaren the Crew. Yeah. So right now, man, we're back with Steve, but yeah, Steve's he's getting into his DMs real quick. I wanted to mention this. Some guy heard he uh, oh, hitting him up, telling him what's up. Yeah, we don't want. Yeah, no, no. he's getting banged on right now on Instagram right now. All the net we do have some special guests in here because you know we got some people that are coming. They, show up early or just they showed up early, man. Wait, right, let me see. Hold on, yeah. Seven thirty. Oh yeah, they showed up a little early. That's good, bro. That's good. That's good. We got some people in the house, though. We got Jeff Reyes in the house. And we're going to do some stuff with him next episode. And then we got Ashley. She's going to jump in. Yeah, she's going to touch it. I don't care what she said. <laughs> but, Steve, okay. so what are you going to show us, man? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we'll start. We'll start. What? what? No, no, we'll start. We've been starting, bro. We've been oh, starting. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah, going yeah, already, yeah. man. All right, cool, we're we'll waiting start. for you to get off your phone. My bad, my bad. <laughs> All no, right. real quick, man. What kind of DMs do you get besides the guys hating on you, dog? Uh, I don't what, know. What do you get from I, the I ladies? Don't, I don't really read them and shit, dog. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't read them. <laughs> have I messaged nah, you nah. on? Yeah, you know what? Have I messaged you on Instagram? Uh, I'm not that sure. That sucks, dude. We're in the general, sure. bro. Are we? Yeah, we're not in the yeah. primary. We're the general. Wow. No, no, no. You guys are primary. I don't think you have them. Yeah, I have, bro. Well, well, you slid, you slid in my DMs, or I don't remember you sliding in my DMs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. let's talk, man. So, what is next with you, bro? Where are you headed, man? Well, damn, next. Well, I'm taking a break for this so this whole month. But what's coming up next? I'm hoping. The, so they're doing a spinoff for um on my block. Oh, they are. Yeah. So oh, shoot. I'm just hoping that, they man. they write me in to some shit like that, you know? Because okay. I mean, they're naming it Free Ridge. Wait, what? They're naming it Free Ridge. Why? Be, uh, that's just the, the name that's, of the that's spin the city that that's, yeah. that's where they're from. So, oh, I, yeah, so that's oh, what sure, I'm hoping for, you know. Since you know the Santos were part, I mean that's their city. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm I, I think you're that, a very popular character. Honestly. You know, you're, yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. I'll just hopefully I get and that. Now you're gonna get a bunch email. of girls fucking boycotting. Nah. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> not even that. Hey, gonna... If they don't put you, I'm not watching. Just yeah. Yeah. Right, <laughs> no, they're going to get a bunch of I'm wannabes Netflix, in there. Netflix, dog. Right, right. <laughs> no, no, they're going to get a bunch no, of wannabe no, cholos no, in there, bro. I'm still, I'm still back on SWAT, man. I'm, I just keep coming in, back in and out with that. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, SWAT this week is the new episode. Yeah. So nice. you oh, catch dope, that. dude. You can be on that. Yeah, I'll be on that. You know what's cool about SWAT? They're all cool ass people. Shamar. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll take a picture with you. That's dope, dude. They're all cool, I always said, bro, and when I was married, I'm like, dude, there's one person. I will let cheat. Oh, yeah, he said, oh, Shamar. my God, dude. Shamar, you could go. I'll be yeah. proud. <laughs> be proud. Nice, nice. <laughs> hey, Shamar, if you're watching, dog, <laughs> impregnate his wife. <laughs> oh, shit. When I was married, it no longer applies. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, cool, it's a cool set. Every time I go on there, it's, it's like family, bro. Like just, yeah. like just like on my block, man. It's like family, you know? They that's cool, like man. Family. It's all good, yeah, and it's real shit, you know? Yeah. No, that's good. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, he casted some of the cops for the SWAT. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yep, yep. The, co- the cops, like the, the main cast? Or? Uh, no, no, no. The, uh, all the, like, the back, the special. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So like all veterans and they know how they like right. Yeah, we're going to get to you're gonna see his story right now, man. Oh, see? No, so no. he's done a lot of stuff with SWAT, too, man. Yeah, Shoot. that's what's up. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So it's all family right here, bro. There it is. Yeah. It's all family. family. We yeah, all yeah. intermingle somehow, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you can so borrow some money? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got that. I mean, this Friday, you, you can catch that on Friday. And then I'm also working with... Um, Putting a, another film together with with my people, Four Ways, with uh, okay. with Burner. You guys know who Burner is? Burner, yeah. Yeah, Burner. So we're doing a film. Um, it's called Splash City. So it's going to be taking place out there in the Bay. So it's pretty mm-hmm. much a story of, you know, out there in the Bay. Mm-hmm. So we're doing that. We're writing that up. And we're going to see what's up with that, you know? This coming, so do this you see year. yourself, like, instead of waiting for, uh, you know, you know, basically Hollywood to give you your roles, you're mm-hmm. actually out there creating your own stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, so you have to, which, is, which is why we did slip into darkness and then broad daylight. You mm-hmm. know, we just got to keep the ball rolling. And shit, that's you know? right. No, but that's, that's that's dope, bro. Because I mean, you did, you know, yeah, slip into darkness. And you won an mm-hmm. award. Yeah. And then you did this in, in broad, broad daylight. daylight. You won an award. Uh-huh. So it's like everything. A yeah, we won. So it's like everything <laughs> you're doing, bro, is like really, really good. You know, do you have? Are you like you have your input in the writing as well? Because I know he said, do you write? But you said no. But do you have I, your input in it? I, I do throw out ideas. Um, writing, no, I haven't got into that, but um, I do throw out like little ideas here and there. Like, I throw out like an idea with um, I don't know if you guys heard of that song, um, Lost in Love with MC Magic, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, I pretty much wrote the storyline to it because he didn't have a music video, oh, okay. So, I kind of felt like this shit needed like yeah. a like a storyline, like story. yeah, you know. <laughs> so, I pretty much wrote down what I felt I wanted to see when we when we film and then i pass it on to my boy david and he's pretty much the one who wrote it and right, right. broke it down to what we're going to be filming and then um yeah they they edited it i mean it came out cool i sent it to mc magic he loved it he was like fuck this is dope whatever and then he put that shit on as a music video that's dope yeah, dude yeah. That's so yeah, stuff like that you know but i had a quick question bro because you know like yeah yeah we're not talking about relationships and stuff you know what i mean but right. Like, but how do you pick up on a chick, dog? If you're so you're so quiet, how do I pick up? Do you like go up to him? Like, they pick up on him, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, give me I, a line, dude. I know I don't have any. I, I've never picked how long up you on been anybody. Standing here for, huh? No, no, no. No, I was, I was never the type to pick up on anybody. It's like, I just I, I feel like I didn't have that confident in me to right. to start yeah, yeah. some shit like that. I mean, I guess if the vibe is there, it's there. Now nah, he just right. walks around. I'm gonna be honest, bro. He walks around with the words. I'm gonna be honest. Just like his roles, it's all in the eyes. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we know who's sliding in your DMs. Yeah. 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 Hey, you, I, real quick, I um. We're talking about what's going on. You, you thinking about doing anything with fitness? I know you're real big into fitness. Yeah, no, I'm going to get he back sees on you, it. I, I, he sees you shirtless one time, and that's all <laughs> think about now. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, what do you mean he has 34 shirtless, shirtless pictures? <laughs> 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 no, I used to be. I used to really be on the whole workout thing. Like, I just got to get back on it. I mean, I could get yeah. back on it. It's just I got to kind of, like, just get myself back there, you know, because yeah, yeah. the, the stamina and... I'm just being busy with all my blocks, SWAT, and I, it, I used to have a routine going every day, two, yeah. two hours at the UFC gym, take a break for an Damn. hour, and then go for another two hours at LA Fitness. Damn. Damn. So Damn, I was I really, gut, really, dude. really on it. And Shoot. I mean, I was, I was. And I sucked cool, in my stomach too. Oh, I'm, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm over here putting my cup down. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the jacket <laughs> back on. Put the jacket yeah, yeah, back yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ashley, look away. Is <laughs> 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 Stop looking over, Ashley. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm get back on it. Yeah. You know, like I'm gonna probably take this time where everyone's taking a break. Yeah. Just get back on it. Right, because December's and, a break. Yeah, exactly. Everybody, yeah. So I'm gonna just go hard, just be ready for the new year. You know, that's right. That's coming so. in, yeah. but that's good, man. Four Ways Entertainment, man. You're doing your thing. You you guys are creating your own stuff. Yeah, and and that's what I like about it, man. Because the stuff that you are creating, like I said, you're you're winning awards, man. That's yeah. the best. And thing. Shout out to Alex and Davey, man. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. Talented. My boys, Alex, David, and John, um, Goto's Burner, Goto, uh, right. Berenice. Everybody, you know, like, yeah, 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 I don't plan anything. It's just as I go and it, it the comes doors as just I open go. And yeah, you, you, yeah, you just it. kind of just go as you go. I mean, it's kind of hard now with like social media. You know, mm-hmm. everyone's doing their shit. People are becoming viral or getting famous over some dumb, stupid shit. Like, yeah, yeah. that's just the competition <laughs> that I got to deal with now. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. It's not so much being focused on talent no more. It's being focused on someone doing some dumb shit. Yeah, stupidity. How many, how many yeah. numbers they get? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that that's just like the ones putting in work are. It's kind of hard. to No, get it's there, true. You know I mean? Yeah. No, like and we then do the stupid that, shit all the time and we don't even get the numbers. <laughs> yeah, like it's just stupid, though. Hey, Steve, can you do something stupid for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take off your shirt. Take off your shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Steve, hey. Take, hey. take off your shirt, Doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> photo number yeah, 35, Doc. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you no. see yourself transitioning out of that, that criminal role? Because I know you get a lot of those roles. Do you see yourself trying to... Get yeah, yeah. That and, and no, yeah, yeah. Of course, which, which is why, which is why I did the in broad daylight, you know, because yeah. I'm just gonna, I want to show that I could do some other shit. Your range, yeah. But if that's what I'm gonna be casted for, and if I could just get my foot in the door with that, yeah. pull that's it off, yeah. that's yeah, just yeah, another definitely. way to just, and then I could switch it up later, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I but was I, a criminal for free for many years, Doc. So yeah, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting paid for it, you know. Yeah, but no, no, it's, it's cool, man. I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't trip on it if yeah. they get me for like a gangster or whatever. I just, I'm not playing. The typical gangster, the way I told you guys yeah, earlier, yeah, where it's yeah. like, right. what's up, Ezra? I don't do that shit. I'll be dressed like this, and I'll fucking still deliver my deliver your lines, part. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But other than that, no, I'm I'm cool with it. What bro. what roles have you you you, you uh, auditioned for, bro? And you you just didn't get? Um, because I've auditioned for cops too. Oh, okay. what? Yeah, for cops? like a, for like an undercover cop or a detective. No, but what what what, what like? Because I I remember one time, uh, Noel, because you said Noel, he's your good friend, right, right, right. and uh, he's like, hey man. Um, can you feel me? Because I can't go to New Mexico where they wanted him to audition. He was sending in a, a video. So he's like, hey, can you can you role play with me? And, and, and then I think Jimmy, right? You oh filmed it. Damn. Jimmy filmed it. Bow, bow, chicka, bow, wow. oh, <laughs> Dude, oh, okay. shut up, fool. I was going <laughs> to yeah. get there. So I read the lines uh-huh. and he was acting. Right. And then I like later on, I didn't know what it was. I was watching a movie, and it was Mal Gibson. I played Mal Gibson. Oh, okay, right, right. With Noel. Right. <laughs> but he didn't get it. Right. Richard Cabral beat him. Oh, it's so the gringo, right? So that's what I'm right? saying. What role? I did. I know. I was Mal Gibson yeah, yeah, yeah. for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Mal Gibson for a minute. But it was that tattoo. When he played a tattoo artist guy, yeah, yeah, and his yeah. daughter got kidnapped yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It was that movie. Yeah. It was a joke. It was a joke movie, but Richard Cabral got the, the yeah, lead I part. Yeah, I remember that. So what roles have you like auditioned for, but maybe you didn't get? That you knew, like, damn it, dude. It's funny because I, I auditioned for American Crime. I don't know if you guys know about that one. Yeah, yeah American, American, American yeah. Crime. Yeah, yeah. So it's also with Richard Cabral. Okay. So that was a long ass, like, shit. I want to say like good six pages that I had to memorize. Damn. And I was just on it for the whole week, just studying, 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 studying. When I went to the audition room, it was like maybe shit like this, you know, people like this amount. And um, I was reading with the, one of the producers, and I, I mean, I did it, man. I, I did all six pages, whatever. Um, I didn't get it. Honestly, I feel like, uh, you know, Richard has some pull in that. Oh, so he got the, he beat you? No, no, no. He was already part of the American Crime Show. Okay. Was our, but there was another um, guy that was there auditioning, which mm. is Clayton. Um, and I guess that's one of his boys. So I think he was auditioning too, but I know I know there were homies, you know. So, so I just fi- I, I just wow. I just figure, you know. And then when I saw it, because when I saw him, I I seen him in their acting class before, and they were together. And I saw right, and I saw right. Richard's uh, homie auditioning for it, and I was like, okay, I think I, I think that's Richard's homie and shit. He's from the so mines. from the mines, yeah. yeah. So um, I auditioned, I did all that. Come to find out, when I saw the film, I mean the the show American Crime, sure enough, it was his homie. 
you know. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's who, so, it's who you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, which is it's all good. You know, it is what it is. I mean, so Richard, you jacked up, fool. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we, we come across each other and we say what's up and shit like that. He's every, everything's all mutual, whatever. It's all good. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, sometimes you just certain people have pull and they can just get you in like that. You know. You ever get, you ever get help to be on the Mayans or no? Or you ever? I've auditioned for it, but it was like little things here and there. I'm always being asked like, why aren't you on the Mayans? I'm like, yeah. well, just don't ask me. <laughs> and shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you could fucking, Jeff, if you could, why is he on the Mayans? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. But um. I mean, let's be honest. He's, yeah. He'll be the tallest one there. Right? I know. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. short. I, hey, yeah. Mayans are short. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but everyone's cool, man. Everyone's, was, um, I mean, again, I get along with everybody, yeah, man. Yeah, Richard's cool. Say, man. I, I, I met Clayton. What, what's He's cool. What's meant for you is going to be meant for you regardless. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, I've met, oh, well, I'm cool with Emilio. Like, I mean, you just know everybody now, you know? Yeah. They're well, all yeah. cool, and just it's, it's just good to keep a good relationship with everybody, you know? Yeah. Well, it's cool, man. I mean, you're friends with all the Chicanos that are working. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, you guys are working. You guys interact and yeah. stuff, so. And I've, uh, that doesn't stop me. You know, I still do my own thing. Hell you yeah. Know? Create your own path. Yeah, yeah exactly. Create my so, own man, path. real quick, man, we got to get going, but you know, is where can they find you, bro? What's they your could, Instagram, Twitter, me, phone I'm, number, address? Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the only thing I Church. have, the only thing I have is a uh, is a uh, IG, the Instagram. Okay, I do have a. Uh, I think the what, what is it? The Facebook or Facebook? Yeah, I think I did. Create, you really said that right now? What is it? Facebook? Yeah, yeah, Facebook. <laughs> and then the, the little TikTok one. I think I did oh, that for, for all my blog, but I don't. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't go on it. You know, you got a WhatsApp. Or yeah, something yeah. Like that. no, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have that <laughs> shit either. But no, my, my IG my IG is I am Steve Viegas. Okay. And then that's where you can find me at and Villegas. just look me up Villegas. right there. Viegas. Viegas, yeah. Viegas, man. You can find me there. And well, thank you, man, so there, much man. for coming on the show, yeah, man. Yeah, you say Steve Vallarta or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve La Vallarta. La Vallarta. <laughs> Yeah, no, thanks. Yeah, I was man. messing thanks. up his name earlier, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, thanks for having me, man. No, really no, seriously, that. thank yeah, you for coming on the show, yeah. man. I really appreciate you, man. Cool. Hey, go out, follow this guy, man. He's winning awards, man. He's on on my block, SWAT. He's doing his thing. Making moves. Man. Making yeah, yeah. money moves, yeah. bro. <laughs> if we could play Cardi B's song, but I would, but it'd be a copyright infringement, yeah. so we can't play. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, hey, man, any last words, dude? I mean, you guys want to see a sexy cop. <laughs> Watching broad daylight. Woo! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> ladies, broad. ladies, not not guys. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm watching it. <laughs> what up, mugs? Hey, that's right, bro. Nah, man. Just keep doing what you what you're doing, man. Keep, cool. keep creating your own lane, because with that comes more opportunities for us Chicanos. And yeah, yeah. No, appreciate no, what you're right. doing. I'm you want to be on I'm, the next film? Yeah, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to see my smolder? <laughs> okay. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and I'm waiting for shirtless picture number thirty-five. They say I look like the rock. It's gonna be a workout video. Yeah, 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 yeah. They say I look like the rock. I know this. Mixed up. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. No, thank you, guys, man. Appreciate All right, man. Until next week, man. This is Jay and the crew. We out, man. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching our episode tonight. But look, don't just watch it. Get connected. That's right. On IG, YouTube, Facebook. Don't forget to like and share, man. We appreciate you guys. This is Z-Man from Jay and the crew. Tune in.